everybody, Fiber Spider back again with another origami tutorial for you. And today we are going to delve into the animal kingdom, well, of the forest woodland creature variety. We have ourselves a cute little fox. Doom, 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 foxy. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Absolutely love this little heartbreaker. Um, it's actually not that difficult. I've made a couple of them in different paper as well. I have this adorable little guy right here. Oh, he's so cute. How could you say no to that little face? All right. So if you want him to be two-toned like this guy is, you are going to need origami paper. However, if you want all of it to be the same color, use a double-sided sheet of paper. Um, you know, so if you're using, say, copy paper, the entire thing will be the one color. Either way, he is adorable. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so as I said, I'm going to be using some origami paper. I think orange is perfect. Now, if you want the majority of it to be colored, you need the colored side down to begin with, and we're going to do our preliminary folds. First, a rectangle. Fold your paper in half. There we go. And then open and turn. And same thing, just a rectangle. Don't worry, it'll get more complicated later on. But not too complicated. Okay, and then open and flatten. Then fold in half to make a triangle. Open and turn and do the same thing once more. Okie dokie. And then open it up and fold one of your corners to that center point. and then flip it over and we're going to fold focus please thank you uh, fold this edge to the center edge but you have this triangle sticking out so that it doesn't get folded as well so what i like to do is i always like to go from the bottom up this is just me personally and then so Make sure you don't fold this corner and fold it up. That edge that we just did to the center crease. Okie dokie. Okay, so from here, turn your piece like this. And then we're going to do some folds along some edges. So this edge here is going to coincide with this edge here. So, and also you can use this point right here as sort of a, a marker. And so this corner here, this edge is gonna line up with this edge. Crease down so it lines up perfectly like that and then just crease and then open 
and then do the same thing on the other side. So, also I do like to turn it sometimes. So, lining this up like so, and then crease, and then open. Okay, so now we're going to be folding this up so that this edge goes along this edge. So this is going to line up with this and then fold it down and open at the same time. So you have sort of like a little pocket. And actually, I'm going to fold it up a little bit closer that you can see. So this lines up like this and then squoosh down and then still going along this folded edge. like that. Okay. And then folding this triangle along this center crease, fold it back. And actually, you know, I could have made that a little bit neater, so I'm going to do that right now. There we go. That way it's closer to matching that top point. Like that. Okay, then, sorry, then folding this back. Along that center crease. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So opening this up and squishing. Like that. And then folding this triangle the other way. Okay, <laughs> we're getting there. Alrighty, so from here, we're gonna fold it in half along this center crease lengthwise. And now, okay, again, we're going to be doing something a little bit weird. We're gonna be folding this edge back on itself to this point where those two meet. Now also at the same time, so it's going to, that corner is going to reach right to that intersection right there. But we're also going to be opening this up as well at the same time. So what I like to do actually is to sort of pinch it in place right there. Pinch that 
and then start to open and flatten There we go, like this. It's a little bit fiddly at first, but you can teach that paper who's boss. It won't outfox you. Mm -mm. And then go all the way up to the top there and flatten this crease. And then, yes, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So flipping it over and then going to sort of prep it with a, a pinch, a crease, just to get it started. And then up, all the way to the top. And these are going to be the ears. And these are his little feet. Okay, now again, I can make that a little bit neater. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to work on the head. So along this crease here, open it up because we have these two layers here. So open that center and then folding along this crease here. And then the other side. Same thing, this crease, fold. And there's this little head, his little noggin and then pinch his little schnoz so it comes to a nice point. And flatten out the ears as well. And pinch them down both sides. Now you can see where my creases were not perfect, but I can finagle it just a little bit more. There we go. And then fold the ear down. And then back up again, back up again, and we will finesse this a little bit more further in. So from here, we're going to work on the legs and then the tail. Okay, now the legs are actually very, very easy. Basically, we're just going to be folding along this edge here so that it lines up. And then open up his legs and fold this flap over. See, he's got a little foot. And then the same thing on this side. Fold along this edge. And then fold the rest of that triangle over. So he has a little foot, tiny little paw. Okay, now for the tail. So to begin with, along this edge, fold your tail up, and then we're gonna undo that. Turn it over and do the same thing. There we go. 
Okay, now this next part, this had me a little bit flummoxed for, you know, a couple of tries, but I finally got it. Okay, so for the tail, let me grab my other piece here. I mean, granted, I mean, we, we're going to put the kink in it later, but it's going to look something like this. So it's sort of like an inside-outside reverse fold kind of deal. So basically, we're going to open up the bottom here, and we're going to work with some of these creases here. Okay, so to begin with, okay, this crease here, going to pinch along this crease, pinch along that crease, and then do the same thing on the other side, pinching along this crease. Okay. And now this, this is sort of a raised mountain. We need to make it more of a, a valley. So going in with this particular crease, and we're going to follow suit with some of the other creases we have, but this one needs to go in. As opposed to out. And then the other side. And there you go. I'm going to undo that and redo that to show you again. So it was originally like this. Okay. So what we did was we open, open, and so this is going in, and this one's going in, <laughs> well this is going out, I know, I know, it's, it's a little bit like wonky, but it totally works. You're essentially just folding along creases that we already have, you see. I hope this makes sense. I do hope so. Okay, so now for some finishing touches. Okay, so for the tail, this little point right here in the valley, we're going to fold straight down or up as the case may be, right along where the tail meets the body, making sure that this edge remains flush. And then fold it back. but with just a little, little bit. So you, I like to pinch and then fold back. Sort of like a little accordion. Or a concertina, you know, whichever you prefer. OK. 
Okay, and that will help him to stand a little bit better. And then with the ears, what I like to do is you can go over your folds again, folding his little ears down, and then going into the ears. Puff it out a little bit, and then the other one. And then straighten out his little schnoz. There you go. <laughs> little foxy. And then, of course, to help him to stand, you need to separate his legs a little bit, and he's good to go. Ta -da! Now, I know that the tail is a little bit tricky. You know, I, I said I had, I had trouble with it myself, and I wasn't kidding. Um, but uh, it takes some practice, but really, you're just going over the existing folds. And of course, rewind, replay, it doesn't hurt. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's little origami tutorial. Yes, I did. Good. Okay. So, listen, everybody. More to come. You know, keep coming up with some suggestions. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing this series. I'm really having fun with the origami tutorials. You know, absolutely love it, love it, love it. So, listen, until next time, I want all of you to stay inspired, <laughs> stay folding, stay caffeinated, stay safe, take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.